God. Amen. And we are going to build the fire and the anointing in this house. Hallelujah. Come, let's pray a little bit. Let's push into the presence of God because it is cold out tonight and we had a long week. So we've come here expectant and we've come here to be in his presence and we've come here to saturate and to just absorb his anointing and to get what we can from Jesus, but to also give what we can. And just let us, I want to encourage you to just let go tonight. Just take a deep breath out. Leave the week where it was at the, at the door. Amen. And let's just give him everything of who we are because he deserves it because he's the king of kings. Hallelujah. So let's take a minute to pray. And warm this room up even more. Amen. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord, we love you, Jesus. We love you, Father. Tonight we give you praise. Tonight we give you everything who we are. Tonight we just surrender. And we submit, Father God. And we just say, Father, you are holy. You are worthy to be praised, Lord Jesus. You are the breath in our lungs, Father God. You are the center of our existence, Lord Jesus. You are the reason why we are here. You are the reason why we are still standing and why we are alive, Lord Jesus. And thank you, Father, that we've been called for a time such as this. Thank you, Father God, that we have been called as your frontline family and your remnant, Lord Jesus, and that we are here together tonight. And we don't see this as just a religious act, Father God, or something that we do on a Friday Father, we see this as quality, intimate time with you, Father God, because we desire it. We hunger to have more of you, Father God. We hunger to be intimate with you, Lord Jesus. Father, we just push into what you have for us. We surrender tonight. Lord, we say, have your way. Have your way, Lord Jesus. Father God, we know that you have got so much planned for us. We know that you want to encounter us, Lord. And we ask, Father God, that as we reach and we seek you, Father God, that you will come and meet us where we are at, Father God. And we know, Lord, that tonight is going to be an awesome evening. And thank you, Jesus, for everybody that is here and everybody serving. Thank you, everybody that is watching online and everybody that has come out. And I know that God is going to meet your need. And I know that you are going to draw close to him. Hallelujah. So let's just be casual tonight. Let's just be free. Don't worry about the person next to you. Don't worry about what happened this week or what is waiting for you for next week. Let's take this time and just dedicate it to God and be intimate with Him. Just you and Him. Amen. Doesn't that sound wonderful and so special? Amen. Amen. Thank you, Amen. worship Praise team. Jesus. Amen. We are few, but we are loud in the presence of God. Amen. We're going to celebrate in God's presence. Amen. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise in the valley. Praise on the mountain. Praise when I'm sure. Praise when I'm doubting, I praise when I'm numbered, I praise when I'm 
fragrance around it. Great is the water, my enemies drowning. As long as I'm breathing, I've got a reason to praise the Lord, oh my soul. I don't. I praise because I know you're still in control. I praise is a weapon, it's more than a sound. My praise is a shout that been sharing for down. As long as I'm breathing, I've got a reason to pray. God, the flood of heaven, 
Crushing over us, the tide is rising, rising. Hey. Come on, let's go. We can do better than that. Up from the ground, we feel it now. Bursting, bursting up from the ground. We feel it now. We come alive in the river. 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 There's a current. There is a current stirring deep inside. It's overflowing from the heart of God. The flood of heaven crashing over us. The tide is rising, rising. Pushing, pushing up from the ground. Break open prison doors, set all the captives free. Spring up a well, spring up a well, spring up a well in me. Nothing can stop the joy. We dancing in the street. Spring up a well, spring up a well. Swing up a well in me. We come alive in the river. 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 Swing up. Swing up a well. Swing up a well. Swing up a well in me. Swing up. Swing up a well. We come alive in the river. We come alive in the river. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. How many of you come alive in the river? How many of you come alive in the river? Amen. God is about to spring up a well in you. Amen. That's overflowing. And everybody around you will be blessed by the, by the fruitfulness and the, and the presence of God in your life. Amen. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ruler, 
Redeemer, risen, conqueror, Jesus, Jesus, name above all things. Your name is risen, risen from the dead. You are the Lord, lifter of our head. You have the all.
I sing praises to your name, Jesus. I sing praises, I sing praises, I sing praises, I sing praises to your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There's such a sweet presence of God in this place. Don't, don't miss the presence of God. Get captivated with the presence of God. It, there's, there's such a sweet presence in this place. Just hold yourself with God. Only with him, more of him, more of him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, 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 oh,
of the throne room of God, I just want to recognize fully who God actually is, so that when we worship Him, we worship Him completely. In Genesis, He's the breath of life. In Exodus, He's the Passover lamb. In Leviticus, He's our high priest. In Numbers, the fire by night. In Deuteronomy, He's Israel's God. Joshua, his salvation's choice. In Judges, his Israel's God. In Ruth, the kingsman's redeemer. First and second Samuel, our trusted prophet. In Kings and Chronicles, he is sovereign. In Ezra, he is true and faithful scribe. In Nehemiah, the rebuilder of broken walls of our lives. In Esther, he's Mordecai's courage. In Job, he's the timeless redeemer. In Psalms, he is our morning song. Come on, people. In Proverbs, he is our wisdom. In Ecclesiastes, he is the time and the season. In the Song of Solomon, he is the lover's dream. In Isaiah, he is the prince of peace. He is the weeping prophet. In Lamentations, the cry of Israel. In Ezekiel, the call from the sun. Daniel, the stranger in the fire. In Isaiah, he is forever faithful. The spirit's power, the strong arm that carries. The, the Lord is our Savior, the great missionary. In Micah is the promise of peace. In Nahum, the strength and shield. In, in Habakkuk and Zephaniah, he brings revival. Amen. Amen. This is our God we're talking about, and I'm still only in the Old Testament. He's the strength and shield. He brings revival. He restores that which has been lost. He's our fountain. He's the son of the righteous rising and healing in his wings. In Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, he's called the Messiah. In the spirit-filled book of Acts, he's the, the reigning fire from heaven. In Romans, he's the grace of God. In Corinthians, the power of love. Galatians, freedom from the curse of sin. Ephesians, a glorious treasure. Philippians, the servant's heart. Colossians, he's God and the Trinity. Thessalonians, our, our calling king. 
in Timothy, Titus, and Philemon. He's our mediator and our faithful pastor. In Hebrews, he's the everlasting courage. In James, the one who heals the sick. In First and Second Peter, our faithful shepherd. In John and Jude, he's the lover coming for his bride. And in the book of Revelations, he's the very end. When it's all over, said and done, when time is no more, he is and will always be the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Priest of Peace, Son of Man, Lamb of God, the Great I Am, Alpha Omega, God and Savior. So Lord Jesus, tonight we just give you honor, we give you glory. We come before you recognizing that we are so little. We are so little and we are so inferior in the creation of all things. But we recognize that you created these things to, throw, to show your majesty and love for us. And we are humbled tonight to come before you, Lord God. And tonight we just lay before you every sickness, every burden, every concern, whatever it may be, we know that you are greater. We know that you are your, we are your sons and we are your daughters. That is who we are. We are created in your image, and that is who you are. You are all these things and more, and we glorify you more than what we could say in words, more than what we could show in action, more than what we could deliver in gifts and offerings and sacrifices. And Lord, we just invite you into the presence tonight. We pray that you will fill in every heart and every, every gap in our hearts, Lord Jesus, where we have withheld anything from you in this revival and beyond we don't just want a temporary god we don't just want a god on sundays we don't just want a god on wednesdays when it's easy when it's hard we want the god that is with us at all times we want all these things and more in our lives just because we recognize that you are in our lives and that you are in us we are in you and you are in us you are unchanging and when you are unchanging, our identity is unchanging. And who we are in you doesn't change, no matter of the shifting seasons. When the wind blows, it doesn't blow the chaff away, Lord Jesus, because we are rooted deeply in you. In Psalms, you say that we are buried near waters where our roots grow deep. And in the right season, it will fruit and show fruit. And so, Lord Jesus, we pray that all of us here tonight and all that are watching online, Father, that we just present our lives before you, that you will make, make use of it according to your will, that we will reach our purpose according to your will in our lives, and that every fruit that we bear will show glory and point people to you. I thank you that salvations will come into this house, not because of anything we do or the perfection of what we do, but Father, just because you are here. This is where you reign. This is your place, Lord Jesus. And we come here tonight to honor you. So we give you honor and we give you glory as we continue to praise. Amen. The holy we lived in a holy So 
It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
Come on, raise up your hands right now. Here I am to bow down. Here I am. It's moving right now. Let's worship it. You're my God. You're all together. All together. All together. Come on, church, I can't hear you. Here I am. Here I am to work. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say, You're my God. You're my God. You're all together love me. All together work. All together. All together. You're beautiful. We worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your presence and your power, your glory in this place, Lord. to enter into we have we are tasting his presence now but there's a glory of heaven that fills this place and I know that each one here tonight there's a need that they are pulling that they are tugging on the garment of Jesus on that they need God to come through for them and God says that comes in the presence of heaven so as we push in I want each one of you just to lay it all down like never before. God says, what better opportunity than now to push in? Lord, I'm embarrassed about others. There's not many of us around tonight. Lord, but it's hard to get into your presence. The presence is here. The Holy Spirit is waiting. 
And I think of that story of John G. Lake that he pushed in for 40 years before the Holy Spirit fell into the new level upon him and revival broke out in this country. But tonight God says that level is yeah if we want it. Each one of us, there will be distractions and concerns and fears and needs. But God says, I am yeah. Turn your eyes to me and it will be fulfilled. So as we push in with this song, heaven is going to come down. And turn your eyes upon our mighty Jesus that is here with us this, this evening. Eyes burning like fire, but love coming out. Love that overwhelms any problem, any situation, any concern. The presence is coming.
and Job 1, 20, 21, it says, And at this, Job got up, tore his robe, and shaved his head. Then he fell to the ground in worship, and he said, Naked I come from my mother's womb, and naked I will depart. The Lord gave, and the Lord is taken. May the name of the Lord be praised. Even in the situation, even in the circumstance, even after losing everything, he lifted up his hand and praised the Lord. I believe in your praise today. Doors that need to be shut will be shut. In your praise today, doors that need to be opened will be opened. And even in your praise today, things that you've been trusting God for will happen. In your praise today, breakthrough is coming over your life. In your praise today, in your worship today, God is bringing the answers that you've been trusting for. God is wiping those tears right now. Even in your praise today, when, this, when people are crying all around and you have joy, that is what praise is going to do over your life. Peace and joy over you in Jesus' name. Oh, you. 
It's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you, it's all about you, it's all about you, Jesus, it's all about you, it's all about you. When Jay was sharing the word and Lisa shared a word, I really feel tonight God is saying that He wants to move. He's moving, but we're not causing Him to move. And I just want to read the scripture. Tonight you may find yourself in a, between a rock and a hard place. He reads in Psalms 119 verse 25, it says, The voice of the Lord gave him the strength to get up again. The same was true, true, true for Ezekiel. David was caught between a rock and a hard place, but he, knew, but he knew he could always rely on the Lord to sustain him. Even under the most difficult circumstances, the same holds true for us. Tonight, your worship is about to break through in your circumstance, in your situation. Your worship will take you to another level. Your worship will take you to the, to the heavenlies with God, into a heavenly realm with God. I really sense that God is right here but he wants you to move. If you don't move, he can't move. And God wants you to move. He wants you to take that step so he can take a step closer. And I see these angels all over this auditorium tonight. And I just want to encourage you that if you feel like you're in a rock and a hard place, get up, stand up, and worship him. Amen. It's all about you. My family, it's all about you, Jesus. It's all about
nothing else. I oh, just want you. Oh, nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else, oh Lord. Nothing, nothing else. Nothing else will do. Just with love. I just want you. Nothing else. Nothing else will do, Jesus. We just want you, Father. Yes, Thank you, Lord Jesus, for tonight. Thank you, Father, for your sweet, sweet presence in the house this evening. Oh, Lord Jesus, we feel refreshed, Father. We are revived, Lord Jesus, by your Spirit, Father God. Thank you, Jesus, that we know that we are nothing without you, Father God, that nothing else will do, Lord Jesus. Those words ring so true in our lives tonight, Father, and we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for your presence here tonight. I want to invite, if there's anybody here that would like prayer, please come forward. Don't come to any meeting with a need and leave with that same need and not having been prayed for. So please, we'll finish off with one quiet song if we can a soft one and then please come up
come if you just want hands to be laid on you, if you want to be prayed for, hallelujah, if you want somebody to stand with you for something, don't leave with the same need, amen. Don't leave with the same burden on your heart. I feel that God still wants to do something. So we'll close with one short and soft song. Hallelujah. Thank you, everybody, for coming tonight. And we'll see you on Sunday morning when mom and dad will be back. And we'll continue our revival. Hallelujah. Enjoy your Saturday. Thank you, everyone. Because of who you are, I will lift my voice and sing. Lord, I worship you because of who you are.